Happy St. Patrick's Day! It is Cheap Nails. Happy News! Today, Frugal with Nail Art. And in this video, I have a whole mani based on St. Patrick. So, uh, let's get right into it. I've already painted all of my nails white and they are completely dry. And to create these designs, I'm going to be using a small nail brush and a toothpick. I'm going to start on my middle finger and I'm going to take my toothpick and some dark green acrylic paint and I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line across my nail. I used the toothpick to draw the line, but then I quickly uh, switched to the nail brush because it just it makes it so much uh, simpler, simpler, is that a word? To draw the line, and I wanted it to be pretty thick, so I made a pretty thick line. Okay, after I painted that, I'm going to go ahead and take some lighter, lighter green acrylic paint, and I'm going to paint all the rest of my nail, because I want to make this green combo on all my fingers, because when I think of Ireland, I think of fresh green grass. So I did about three coats of the green uh, acrylic paint, and now I have my toothpick, and I'm going to make some dots for St. Patrick's Rosary, and I love making uh, the rosary design when I do Catholic nail art because I think it fits in so well. So I just made it gray, and after that cross is dried, I took some brown acrylic paint, and I just put a dot right in the center of the cross. Okay, moving on to my next finger, I'm going to take my toothpick, and I'm going to take some brown acrylic paint and draw a harp. Now, the, the reason why I wanted to do a harp is because it's the natural symbol for Ireland. And I've never drawn one, so I was like, okay, I gotta do this. And I also took some uh, gray acrylic paint and drew some musical notes by the harp. Now, when I drew the harp, doesn't it look like a heart? A harp looks like a heart, get it? And I didn't know what to put the strings, because I thought if I painted it, it would be too thick. So, you know what? I just took my pencil and drew on strings, because you can draw with a pencil on acrylic paint. It works actually pretty well. And I'm going to take some light uh, gray acrylic paint and I'm just going to put that on the music notes so they just stand out a little bit. And there we go. That design is done. I also put some gray inside the harp. I uh, forgot to say that. Okay, moving on. I'm going to take my pencil and draw a rough outline of the Celtic cross because that's a national cross of Ireland. So I want, definitely wanted to paint that on my nails, but I thought maybe it would be a little hard to paint it. Just, you know, just straight out paint it. So I uh, drew kind of a sketch with the pencil because I this is the first time I kind of took a, you know, a pencil and drew on acrylic paint and it worked. So, you know what? I just, I rolled with it. So I went and had and uh, drew it and now I'm taking some gray acrylic paint and I'm just filling it in. And after that is completely dried, I'm going to take some more of that white, it's not white, why do I always want to say white? Light gray acrylic paint and uh, just outline the cross and put a circle in the middle. And there we go, that design is done. Now it's time for the pinky. Now, I wanted to uh, put on the pinky a bap baptismal font, I hope I said that right, because St. Patrick uh, baptized uh, 350 bishops in his lifetime, so I definitely wanted to put one of those. And it's kind of like, I don't really know how to explain the shape of it, but as you can see, I uh, took the pencil and kind of drew the shape, and then I filled it in with uh, gray acrylic paint, and then I took some light gray acrylic paint, and I made the features on it. And there we go, that one is done. I think it turned out pretty well. Now we gotta get some top coat on these because the top coat with the the acrylic paint I use is matte. So when I put this top coat on, it was like a world of difference because it made it sh the green pop and just make it so shiny. I love it, so yeah, beautiful. Okay, they're all done and I hope you guys are gonna have a great St. Patty's Day. And I think these nails are just gorgeous. I think I came up with a pretty good idea because at first I was like, what am I going to do for St. Patrick's Day? But I think it turned out very well. And also I got an awesome request to paint a squishy inspired by uh, St. Patrick's Day. So I painted a squishy holding a harp and a Celtic cross. And then I went ahead and like painted its hair like different shades of green. And then I painted his ears black. And then I painted like... Okay, it looks like a birthday cap, like a spotted birthday cap on top of his head. But I think it turned out pretty cute. And guys, if you have any more requests, please leave them down in the comment section down below because I always like to hear from you. 
and please tell me what you uh, guys think of my St. Patrick's nail design and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you so much for watching my design. See you later.